Before the bid, we have, um, we have uh, air, air conditioned stadiums in, in Qatar. Uh, Said Stadium is one of them, so it was uh, mark one for us, and we learned a lot, of, uh, a lot of things. We've done computer simulations, so this, before we went and uh, we finalized the design, we, 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 we put the stadium in a, in, a, in a virtual environment, which is the computer, and we simulated every second for the last 30 years, the weather. Uh, weather file for Doha and we, we saw the amount of cooling, where the, which areas with the stadium would be affected and after that we printed the stadium uh, three-dimensional using three-dimensional printers and we put it in a wind tunnel and again we looked at how the plan form uh, of the stadium externally will affect the inside of the stadium. Now we've just walked into this area here where it's very cold and windy. Tell me about the technology that you're using. So uh, these, these nozzles, they will, uh, they're designed to channel the distance between the end of the nozzle and the start of the, of the field of play. So the field of play is, a, is one of the most important pieces or elements within, within the stadium. Mm -hmm. And you have to have a, a very healthy grass for the safety of the players and at the same time grass likes a, uh, a dry, uh, dry, a little bit of a dry air, otherwise you will enhance uh, diseases like moss and things like this. So how do you balance it when you've got a stadium like this, you've got half of the stadium in the sun here and then half in the shade, how do you balance the temperature across it? I mean we have a lot of sensors dotted around, around the stadium to give me the temperature, um, air temperature, radiation and the amount of humidity we have. And then we have a, a big computer room that will look into balancing all these elements in order to maintain around 22, 23 degrees C as well. One of the messages of the World Cup is to be sustainable. Um, some of our viewers might be concerned about air conditioning, such a massive stadium. How do you balance the sustainability with that? Uh, it's, a, it's a valid concern. We're not cooling the whole stadium. We're only cooling a small boundary layer. Uh, at the top of the grass and at the top of spectators and this air is all the time recycled it's not like i'm pulling air from uh, 40 degrees c or 42 degrees c and push it back in the stadium we are using the same air and cool it and recool it again and at the same time uh, what we've done is we looked at having the best computers uh, control algorithms and control um, using sensory as well in order to make sure that we're doing it as uh, as sustainable as, as, as possible.